What's up? This is Gilbert Arenas rocking with the Three Point Conversion Radio. Y'all tune in. Holla at your boy. Hi, it's great to see all three of you. Welcome back for the 2022 season. Uh, I'll just go down the line. Um, Tosh, I spoke with Han yesterday after practice, having noticed the, the high-low chemistry that you and her were showing off. Uh, you two were teammates back in 2019 with the Xinjiang Magic Deer. How have you seen her game develop in the intervening years, and how can you further help her excel with this Liberty team? Um, yeah, you know, me and Han did play in 2019 in China. Uh, you know, just me and her getting that chemistry back again, you know, it's it's amazing, you know, also having, you know, a 6'6 center, you know, I don't got to do all the heavy, heavy lifting down there, but, uh, but yeah, just, just seeing her grow over the years and also just uh, her being uh, more physical, you know, uh, I'm happy that she's a part of our team, you know. Great. Thanks so much. And uh, Sabrina, um, you made mention of the fact, even going into last season, that you weren't fully back to 100% after that severe ankle injury. After another offseason, are you feeling fully back to 100% now? Yeah, I'm feeling good now. Great, thanks. Uh, and Banaja, great to see you. Um, so despite the new coaching staff, there's a lot of continuity with the roster. So while all three of you are in leadership roles, how much more comfortable are you feeling in year two in New York, just knowing your fit with the team? Oh, you know, it's, it's nice to have our, our core back and then to have added some pieces. Um, you know, we're just feeding off of each other, feeding off of the momentum that we had to end last year and just hoping to come out and, you know, play our best basketball so far. Thanks so much. Great to see you all. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hello, all. Thank you for being here. I'll do what Miles did, and I'll just go one down the line, if that's all right. And I'll start with Natasha, go from left to right. Um, so, uh, Natasha, there's been a lot of discussion when it comes to players going overseas in the future in light of what's gone on in Russia, but also with priority prioritization coming up next season. And so you played an abbreviated season in Russia um, and then got to come here and rest and do some skill work. I'm curious as to how getting that rest you believe is going to impact your play in the W this year and maybe will, you know, prevent injury early on or, or just will allow you to have a more productive year this year. Absolutely. You know, I'm happy that I I came home early, you know, to get the rest that I needed uh, and also, you know, start back training again. Uh, you know, overseas, it's a, it's a, it's really a total on, on anybody body, you know, coming back from overseas to the WNBA. I'm happy I had that, like that little month, month and a half, whatever break that I had. And, you know, also you know, getting my body right for this upcoming season, you know, actually to prevent another injury. So I'm happy that I had the time to do what I needed to do. I appreciate that. I really do. And Sabrina, for you, you know, <clears throat> building on uh, Miles's question, I listened to a podcast you did this winter with Matt Barnes and Stephen Jackson. It was a lot of fun and uh, listening to it, of course. And, and you explained sort of what you went through last season and how you felt like maybe you came back too soon and you felt like you were playing on like a, a wooden leg, as you put it. So I'm curious if you can reflect on what this off season was like for you mentally and physically and how you think training camp will be different for you this year health-wise? Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a lot different. It has been a lot different already. Um, but this offseason really consisted of like eight months of rehab and training. Um, that's literally what I did since the season ended to right now. Um, so it's just been a lot of getting my body healthy, getting my ankle healthy from the season that um, that just happened. And I'm really excited. I feel really good. And I'm really excited to actually have training camp last year. I wasn't really able to participate in training camp at all and just got thrown into games. And so I'm happy to just continue to build off of last year, but be better, of course. 
I appreciate that. I do. And, and Benijah, for you. Um, so first, before my uh, substantive question, I wanted to know how you are health wise, because I know when we spoke at USAB, you were sort of working back up. So when it comes to your participation in training camp, you know, where are you at? Oh, I'm good. I'm 100 percent out there, you know, participating in everything. So feeling good. Good to know. Um, so we heard from Jonathan and Sandy on Friday, and they both explained to us how much defense is being preached in training camp. And she sort of talked, or Sandy talked about some non-negotiables. I remember that being a huge focus as well last season in training camp. So I'm curious as to with how Sandy is running her camp so far, what makes you confident that this year you all are gonna be a much better defensive team? I think us um, ha building off of the continuity that we had last year. So we're understanding each other's tendencies and just being able to help out more. And then um, just having everybody, well, majority of the people back right now helps with that, helps, you know, as the coaches try to implement their defensive schemes. So I'm feeling really good about, you know, where we'll be defensively. Thank you. Thank you. Sarah Valenzuela. Hey everyone, thank you so much for taking the time today. Um, I just have really two quick questions, uh, two really quick questions. Um, for Sabrina, just to uh, follow up on uh, Jackie and Miles' question. Do you view um, this third year of yours, I know it's kind of like not really third year, so, sort of more second year, as a sort of career reset now that you're fully healthy, new coaching staff, some new teammates? Um, yeah, I do. Um, obviously didn't play really that first year. And so um, I learned a lot of lessons last year and, um, you know, learned what I should and shouldn't do and took an entire off season to get healthy and be able to, to give my all to the team. And I think that's really important. And um, it's, it's also unselfish. Like it's not fair to the team if I'm not playing at hundred percent and able to give them everything that I have. And so I'm able to do that now and I'm excited to just get to work and continue to get better every day. Thank you. And then one more question for Benaja. Two years ago, we got Benaja most improved last year. We got Benaja all-star. What do you think we'll get from you this year? Um, I'm just looking to, you know, continue to grow, continue to build off of each year. I think if you looked at, if you look at, you know, me season to season, I've always grown and added something, whether it's a little, whether it's a lot. So um, that's my main focus right now is to just continue to build, just continue to be my best self each and every day and just add more to my game. Thank you guys. Hi, everyone. Great to see you all. Um, Sabrina, I wanted to follow up on what you said um, just now that you spent last year just wanting to learn everything that you know you should be doing, you shouldn't be doing in your first real year um, in the league. So what were the specifics of what you felt like you learned that you're really going to take into this next season? Uh, don't play if you're not healthy. Um, that's the probably main um, thing that I've learned is um, you can't, you know, it's a long, it's a long game. And it was my second year and, you know, thank God that I didn't get um, more injured or get a different injury, but um, sometimes playing through it isn't always uh, the right way. And so that's definitely something that I learned is just speak up, you know, be confident in your decision if you do or don't think that you're able to go at a hundred percent. Is that more of a mental adjustment as a competitor? Because I'm sure just you want to just tough it out for your team, especially after everything you went through your, um, you know, in 2020. So how much was that more of like a mental adjustment to make um, as much as it is physical? Uh, yeah, I mean, they go hand in hand. Um, when you go through an injury, uh, it's just as much of a mental game as it is, you know, rehabbing and getting back out there on the court. So there's definitely a gauge and you kind of have to figure it out whether you should or shouldn't push through something and sometimes pushing through um, is kind of part of the process. And so I think it's figuring that out and you do it through experience. And so I'm glad that I was able to have that experience last year and learn and grow from it. Thank you. And if I could ask a real quick follow-up to Benaja, um, have you seen a difference in Sabrina just since she's been healthy and being able to be at 100%? I mean, yeah, obviously having Sabrina healthy, um, you know, it's a it's a difference. She's able to, to move the way she would like to move on the court. Just, you know, she's been vocal, getting us into our actions and everything. So we're excited to have her back. We're excited to, to have her healthy for, um, you know, the 
for for the training camp and and the season and just you know to have everybody come together and you know just look good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, Mr. Garcia. Hey guys, um, Tina from Fox 5. And just a, a couple super generic questions about camp uh, for all three of you, whoever wants to answer. Um, I know it's only a, a couple practices under your belt, but what do you think the identity of this Liberty team is this year? Or what do you really got, what do you really want the identity to be? I think to come out, play hard, you know, to to punch first, to not allow people to dictate, you know, what we'll do for us to 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 control us, to, to control the tempo of the games to continue to build, to have fun. You know, I think that's that's a very important aspect of the game um, as far as to just have fun, enjoy each other, both on and off the court and just continue to build off, the, off of the momentum that we had last year. Also wanted to ask you guys, um, just under Sandy, I know she wants to bring a more up-tempo uh, style, but what has been the biggest difference so far with the way that she's you know, starting camp, the way that the style that you guys are going to play this year? Anyone? Natasha or Sabrina, you want to? <laughs> I would say uh, the term that she used is totally different from uh, last season. The terms and like, you know, the way, how she want to play, like how she want us to, to play. And that's like the biggest difference from last season. And, you know, like, I'm happy that she wanted to be an up-tempo team because like we're young and we also run the floor. And uh, I'm happy that we actually have a have someone that actually want us to play up-tempo. Uh, and, you know, and we all still learning the, like I said, the terms and the scheme that she wanted to do. And it's only day three, and we learned a lot. And then Sabrina, I guess just to follow up, um, to get you in the conversation, what do you want to embrace about this new style and, and playing up tempo? Uh, I think we're really going to embrace everything, um, being able to score inside, being able to score outside, um, not really being a one dimensional team. But if someone's going to take something away, we're always going to be able to counter and do it at an elite level. And so we're figuring out what works for us. Obviously, we have some new pieces and so figuring out how we're going to integrate them and how we're going to continue to play at a really high level. And she's holding us to that standard. The entire coaching staff is. And so it's really exciting to see what we've done in day three and how much further we have to go throughout the entire season. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Thank you. Our city is Hello, um, I have one question for Miss Lenny. Uh, in terms of playing, what will make Liberty stand out from the other teams in the new season? I think us just being us, you know, as we spoke about before, just wanting to push that tempo, but also be poised and in control while we're doing that, to, to use each other, to have fun, to just, I think the coaches are doing a great job of knowing our strengths and putting us in those positions for us to, to showcase that, but within the within the realm of the team. So um, I'm really excited for this season. I'm really excited for everybody that's here and just can't wait to get started. Jesse Powell. Hello again. Um, I've got a question for you all about Jocelyn Willoughby. I mean, I know we've been talking a lot about injuries, but she's someone who was for the majority of last season watching on the sidelines, helping you guys with scouts sometimes. And I'm, I'm just curious as to how she's looked in, in these past couple of days. And what do you think about how she's going to contribute to this year after going through a year when she really couldn't? She's looked good, you know, she's she's coming back. Her um her Achilles feels really good. And I think she just brings she's a, a bigger guard, she's a strong guard. Uh, she's somebody that plays under control. And so I think she's, you know, coming off of an injury, I know more than anyone, you know, <laughs> what that's like, as well as, you know, Sabrina, Tosh luckily hasn't had any of those kind of injuries. But um, she's she's hungry, you know, and she's bringing that to training camp. So we're excited to have her back along with with everybody else. And we're just looking forward to seeing what we'll all be able to do together. I appreciate that. I do. Thank you. Hey there. How are you guys? This is for uh, whoever wants to take it. But I'm curious what it's been like to have Asia back in the mix. You know, it's it's been a long time. And obviously their story getting back to the court is pretty inspiring. So. If any of you, all of you want to take that, go, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Um, it's been really nice seeing um, 
seeing just everyone honestly back, you know, we've had kind of this, you know, Sandy talked about it and, you know, Jonathan talked about it, just the story of everyone that's kind of battled something, whether it was last season or just, you know, in their careers and kind of the stories of them getting back. And I think it really will shape the identity of this team. And so it's really nice seeing AD back on the court. She's um, playing really well and we're really excited to have, you know, everyone back and fully participating. Hi, I'm just going to follow up with these other questions and keep asking about players that have returned to the huddle recently. Um, and I want to ask about Paris Key, who came to the team midway through uh, the 2020 season and then also had to deal with an, a uh, an ACL injury and is now back. And just how is it having her back in the mix? Because I know that while she was rehabbing with the team, she wasn't necessarily with you guys last year. And this is for anybody. I mean the same, you know. It's it's great, like like Sav said, to just have everybody back, have every, every everybody healthy. I think that's the most important thing is that everybody's been able to come back strong, been able to come back, you know, better than before. So I'm just really excited to have you know everybody here, aside from you know a few that are still overseas, because it's it's really exciting to just see where everybody's at now after dealing with injuries. You can go down the line, so. I think, you know, we feel good. Our, our performance team is, is taking really good care of us and, you know, we'll be ready. Alexa. Sabrina, I had another follow-up for you. Um, I had read somewhere that you got more into yoga and Pilates as part of your recovery. And I was just curious um, how you got introduced to that and what that's really brought to you as you've like taken a more holistic approach to recovery and wellness. Yeah, I think it's just, you know, finding different ways to get better. Um, sometimes that's not on the court. Um, and sometimes that's figuring out whether that's in the pool or stretching um, recovery. And so um, I started yeah, doing yoga just because it was, you know, not, not a lot of contact and just figuring out different ways to help my body improve. And I think everyone at this level has to find, you know, an edge that's going to help them if they're coming back from injury and even if they're not. And so it's really whatever works for each individual. And so it was nice being able to do that. Um, you know, I wasn't playing overseas, so I had time to, to find what I really liked and what was going to help me. Thanks. Great. Thank you all for joining.